Did you know that white light is a mixture of all the colors of the rainbow? It is. White light's hitting this basketball, but all we see is orange. And white light's hitting this blue gelatin dessert, but all we see is blue gelatin. Now my coat, well, it's got lots of colors. Hey, it's the show about light and color. Now without different colors of light, we couldn't see different colored things. And of course, without light, well, we couldn't have a TV show. Oh, now this is the plastic water-filled prism of science. And shining into it is a bright white light. Now when white light goes into a prism, it breaks up into all the colors of the rainbow, what we call the full spectrum of colors. So down here, is the spectrum being made by the prism of science. See, here are all the colors of the rainbow. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and purple, or violet. Now watch. I'm gonna try to break these colors up using another prism. Red, yellow, green, blue, and violet. See, they can't be broken up anymore. What that means is, these are pure colors. White light is a mixture of all the colors of the spectrum, but each color is its own color. White light is colorful. What gives fruits and vegetables all their different colors? I don't know. Well, chemicals in the skin of the fruit and vegetable absorb and reflect different wavelengths of light. Take this orange. It's absorbing all the colors of light except orange, which it's reflecting. This green apple, it's reflecting green, absorbing the other colors. The red pepper, it's reflecting red and absorbing the other colors except red. Bet you didn't know I could, bet you didn't know I could juggle. I gotta do it just a bit. Gotta get these colors flying. Oh yeah, sure, sure, there it is. Sure, look at all those colors. It's chemicals reflecting and absorbing white light from the sun. What a party! A party! Consider the following. There's an old saying in science, we don't see things. We see light bouncing off of things. So when you see my tie, you're seeing light from the lab that hits the tie and goes into the camera and works its way to your eye. Now, here in the lab, we have almost perfectly white light. We have almost all the colors of the spectrum. But when you look at my tie, it looks black with just a few brightly colored spots. What's happening to all the other colors? Where are they going? I don't know. Well, they're getting absorbed and turning into heat. You may have noticed this. In a bright light or in the sun, a black cloth feels slightly warmer, yeah, slightly warmer than a white cloth. That's because the black cloth is absorbing almost all the colors of light that hit it and changing them to heat, whereas the white cloth is reflecting almost all the colors. This is how paint works. Paint absorbs light. Paint has little particles in it called pigment. So red paint is absorbing most of the light that hits it and reflecting red. Yellow is absorbing most of the light and reflecting yellow. And blue paint absorbs most of the colors and reflects blue. Now when we mix the colors of light, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet, we get white light. But when we mix different colors of paint, it doesn't work that way. Red, yellow, and blue. And blue. The bottle's giving up. Uh-huh. And blue. Okay. And blue. When they're mixed, they don't turn white. They turn kind of a messy brown. That's because it's absorbing light. Well, there's a lot of things in nature that absorb almost all the colors of light that hit them. Like charcoal, or this dog. 